If I got the right, right down. We have a Muay Thai girl versus a kickboxer. Kickboxer's on the right. Has a reach advantage. Muay Thai girl. They're both professional. This is not amateurs. This is professionals. So let's see what happens. These are the rules, of course. As you know, um, there's 10 seconds of ground time. So it's different, right? It's not MMA rules per se. It's hybrid rules. Also, the gloves are not traditional Muay Thai or boxing. So we will have a very, very cool matchup. I'm really curious how they're going to do. I'm really curious how they're going to do. Uh, Muay Thai girl on the left. Um, the doll. The burning mink is on the right. She's the kickboxer. So we'll call them mink and doll. Doll is blue. Mink is red. Okay. All right. All right. So doll, the Muay Thai girl. Um, oof. She gets thigh kicked. Ooh, kickboxer girl's going in aggressive. Dude, kickboxer girl's connecting. She's winning on points, but you know how Muay Thai people are. A lot of times they're kind of downloading information the first round. Um, these are three minute rounds. Ooh. So, yeah. Um, I really don't know, guys. I really don't know if the Muay Thai girl is downloading information or is she actually um, just she does not a pick apart kickboxer girl. So, kickboxer girl, the one being aggressive. Um, I wonder if the two athletes. Um, train this kind of, um, the smaller gloves type of match. Oof. So, uh, the, the person commentating right now is Victor. So if you guys hear a Chinese voice, that's Victor. Now, I wonder since this, they're both standard fighters, right? Is someone going to kind of train a little bit of, um, grappling and try to use that to their advantage? Like, what would be your strategy to this? Knowing this is kind of more closer to... MMA than it is to Muay Thai, right? So it's looking a little bit evenly matched than in the beginning. Woo! Foo, foo, the, it's happened a few times. The burning mink, aka the kickboxer girl's left her face open and she's paid for it. The the right of the Muay Thai girls landed on um kickboxer girl. Man, kickboxer. What is it about the kickboxer girl that keeps her Face open. Let's let's try to figure that out. She did a little switch stance right there. That was really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. What is um, what is Kickboxer Girl doing that keeps her face getting hit? Is it dropping her hands or is it something else? Lack of head movement? Or I mean, we do see when she's when she's kicking low. When Kickboxer Girl's kicking low, she kind of drops her hands a little. But is that? I guess it is that, right? She doesn't have the shoulder up at her chin either when she's kicking. Look at that, look at that, you see, oof! They're just having fun, I like this. Huh. Representing the Venom, Venom brand right there, oof! Hmm, I haven't seen any clinches either. Um. Knowing Muay Thai girl might have the clinch to her advantage, especially if she's connecting with the punches, right? But, you know, maybe she's okay winning on points like this. Ooh, look at that. Muay Thai girl ate a punch straight to the face. She basically walked into kickboxer girl's punch. Whew, there it is. I guess if we were to summarize round one, it's a lot of offense, not a lot of defense. There it is. End of round one. Lots of show of respect. And we'll skip over some of the highlights just because you guys can watch it on the original channel. So, uh, here is round two. Oof. And again. Again, I, I keep saying lack of defense, but it, it is just a little harder, right? It's harder to use the traditional kind of um, boxing or kickboxing or Muay Thai kind of guard your defense when your gloves are much smaller so you really have to rely on reaction and timing and head movement and grappling right grabbing all this stuff for your defense purposes but hmm oh okay that was a little sidekick right there I'm a fan guys notice they also have elbow pads which is interesting that's a little different than Maybe um, Muay Thai promotions, right? Muay Thai promotions, they don't have elbow pads. Notice they have elbow pads, but no knee pads. That's very interesting. 
I believe, guys, in the first... I could be wrong, but in the first season, didn't they have knee pads? Maybe not. So, oof. Muay Thai girl. Pretty good at the angles right here. Both of them, actually. Pretty good at moving laterally. I haven't seen too much... Um, too much kind of go straight forward, go straight backwards type of movement. Both of them. So, lots of skill. A lot of times when you watch higher level girls do these matches, there's a lot of skill involved. That's why it's very enjoyable to watch them. I know some people just want to watch girls go at it, but sometimes it's more fun just to look at their skill. Both of them in orthodox stances. The moment I mention stances, I'm going to look at the feet only, like look at their footwork. There's, a, there's um, Kickboxer Girl has a lot of power to her cross. She's really pulling from the ground, so to speak. Oof, that was a good combo by Kickboxer Girl. Oof, uh, Muay Thai Girl gets her back. Light kick's pretty good. They're both, um, they're both, like, height-wise, they're both smaller. I might go back later to see how, how tall they are, but... Slow down slightly. You should teach more. You should, yeah, don't, don't walk. You should teach more, yeah. You, just front kicks. I think there's not enough use of front kicks in this, like push kicks. Not enough use of front kicks. Lots of roundhouse kicks, lots of punches, lots of walking into punches with your face, but not a lot of uh, front kicks. No. That's the only one thing I would say. You should, you should push kicks more. Use that as a jab, you know. All right, so shout out to Victor. He's the referee in the middle. So we'll skip over some of the highlights again. Okay, so now round three. Oof. Was Muay Thai girl always this low or is she just a little lower in this round? Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that, that punch dazed kickboxer girl a little. Still, we haven't seen one clinch technique yet between the two of them. That's really interesting. Woof, great punches. I mean, if anything, we, we've learned the jabs really work, right? The jab's the most important punch. Hmm. So, we haven't seen any real grappling and we haven't seen any clinching. So far, it's just kind of a kickboxing match. Which is cool. I mean, it's really enjoyable to watch this. Some um, Muay Thai girl stepping out of the way of the kick, of a roundhouse kick, standard Muay Thai technique. Last time I covered a girl fight, a lot of the girl viewers that watch were like, Jerry, don't comment on how attractive they are. So I'm not going to do that this time. So I appreciate the viewers who told me that. It's like, oh, you just want to watch the fight commentary. No, no other stuff. So I'm not going to do it this time. But sometimes if there's a lull, I kind of want to do that. But again, respect my viewers' opinions. So, oof. Again, it's like, oh, she's she's paying for the hands, like, not by this. There we go. Kickboxer girl initiates initiates grappling. Okay. Okay, 10-second ground time. So, yeah, Muay Thai girl doesn't look like she knows what to do on the ground. So... That was 10 seconds. If this were MMA rules, the Muay Thai girl would have lost there because she wouldn't have known how to get, get, got out, get out of the clinch or whatever. Um, what just happened there? Uh-oh. No. Let's see what happened there. Oh, I think there was an eye gouge. Unless some, um, unless some, um, she fell forward into the ref. Or, or maybe it's eye, eye, eye poke maybe? Yeah, it looks like her um her her face or her eye hit the ref, Victor. Yes. Okay. Good little doctor checking up on the action. Here they go. Here they go. Continue with it. Okay. So um a good little referee tip, I guess. Be careful. Don't 
Don't let their face collide with your head. Huh. This took a little steam off Muay Thai girl. I mean, uh, kickboxer girl, man. Huh. I don't know who to give it to. I feel like that little takedown slash the ground and pound might have won the kickboxer girl this round. Ooh, spinning back fist right there. That was the highlight. If I had to give it like a highlight moment, that was the moment right there. So, so I think what we'll do. Oh, look at that. Kickboxer girl initiating another clinch. So Muay Thai girl trying to defend the knees. Not really fighting the clinch for some reason. Huh. Okay. Ah, well, it's the end of the round. Huh. Okay. That was interesting. That was super interesting. So let's show the coolest part and then the lamest part. <laughs> So, Muay Thai girl took it. Interesting. Huh, Muay Thai girl took it, huh? Ah, uh, strawweight champion. All right, fine. I mean, Muay Thai girl definitely did better the first round and the second round, I think. But third round, kickboxer girl. Ow, she just bumped her head again. <laughs> oh man, no, I shouldn't be laughing at that, but like sometimes, it was like a, almost like a Three Stooges moment right there. So good job. Good job to the Three Fighters. Victor from King of Dragons, this was awesome. Guys, please go follow King of Dragons. Guys, I got my bell button turned on for them. So, go turn on the bell button, dude, right here. Turn on the bell button for all their stuff. Let's give them a like, too. Let's leave a comment right now. Very good match. Thanks for bringing this to us. Okay, guys, this was Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Uh,